In 2010, two years after Lehman Brothers collapsed, after Iceland practically went bankrupt, the Greek crisis was just beginning. I noticed the increasing incomprehensible rating downgrades of countries. The, crit the criticism of the credit rating agencies, especially the big three, Standard & Poor's, Moody's & Fitch, started to become noticeable. I asked my, myself, why were the ratings wrong? Why did these credit rating agencies act so hasty afterwards? Why did they seem to fail? In my opinion, the lack of transparency, the lack of independence, and the possible shortcomings of the rating models lead to the breakdown. Are there any possible solutions for these issues? Let's go back in history for a moment, about 100 years ago, where one of the first observations for crowd intelligence was described and evaluated. The polymath and statistician Francis Galton visited a livestock fair. The villagers were invited to guess the cow's weight after it was slaughtered and dressed. Nearly 800 participated, so about twice of you all here. But not one person hit the exact mark. Surprisingly enough, the mean of the guesses was nearly the exact mark. With only 1% deviation, that's a kind of magic. Galton originally wanted to verify the stupidity of a crowd, but after this, he noticed that his assumption obviously was wrong. There are many other examples which show this behavior. This principle of the wisdom of a crowd in our days is impressively proved at a global level with Wikipedia, which is also transparent and independent. Sometimes the wisdom of a crowd is confused with a democratic principle, but this is not the same thing. The democratic approach considers only majorities, whereas the crowd intelligent considers everyone. So, I thought to myself, why not adapt the wiki concept and combine it with crowd intelligence for the credit rating business? I started to build wiki rating and implement two rating methods. One of them is based on the user's opinion, the crowd polling method for credit ratings. By the way, what are credit ratings? A credit rating evaluates the credit worthiness of a company or a country. It is an evaluation usually made by credit rating agencies of the debtor's ability to pay back the debt and the likelihood of default. The most common rating scale uh, is going from triple A to D. So it started with triple A, double A plus, double A, double A minus, and so on. To visualize this better, we can choose a kind of traffic light system with colored transitions, as you can see here. Credit ratings are so important because investors are only willing to give money if a company or a country has a rating. In fact, 
often they even do not have any choice due to regulatory rules. The credit rating itself influences the interest rate which the debtor has to pay. This means the worse the credit rating, the more interest rate the debtor has to pay, or the, mon the more money he has to pay. Everybody experienced this, the impact of this, during the last months. Especially here in Europe. Think about Greece. Think about Italy. Think about Spain. But let us first check how the world's leading credit rating agency sees the world at the moment. Oh, this doesn't look that bad at all. A lot of green everywhere. Look at North America. Look at Australia. Look at Asia. Look at Europe. By the way, gray means no credit rating for this country. This situation also looks very similar according to the other two big credit rating agencies. So, great news! According to the rating agencies, the world is more or less okay. Okay, with only some, some small minor issues. Well, how does the crowd see the world's credit ratings? During several months on wiki rating, about 7,000 votes were given to all countries of the world. The crowd, maybe even some of you, rated countries. And this was done for the first time ever on a global level. That looks a little bit less positive. What we obviously can see here, firstly, the map is less greener than the credit rating agency's view. Secondly, the map is more colorful. This means more countries have received a credit rating. And thirdly, look at North America. The crowd's rating for the United States differs very much from that, from that of the credit rating agency. Indeed, the difference is enormous. It's not dark green, it's dark orange. This means it's not double A plus, it's double B minus. It's not very good, it's quite bad. What does this mean? Are people more pessimistic? Can we deduce that the stupid crowd makes better ratings than the experienced credit rating agencies. In any event, these results are remarkable. I personally believe the crowd results are better, but these results can actually be improved by increasing the voting sampling size. Much more people have to join. The more people who participate actively, the better the results will be. Why? Because besides the fact of several good crowd-intelligent examples, in the end, the credit rating of a country is simply based on the people, the crowd, not just a few experts. Do not get me wrong. <laughs> I have the most respect for experts and scientists. I'm a mathematician, but they never can take into consideration all factors of such a complex thing like a country. They can at most produce better or worse models. If they would have done it better, 
we would have never had this enormous crisis. And probably <laughs> these experts would be billionaires. We are always talking about the behavior of the markets. But markets but are not abstract things. Behind markets are humans who often act quite irrational. And no model can predict this. So, the best model is the people themselves, the crowd, the sum, the sum of everybody, you all. If you believe in you, in the crowd intelligence, I invite you to join the credit rating game. Thank you very much. <laughs>